Hello, this is Scary Star Being with Scary's Wide World of Mystery. I'm going to be doing readings for this upcoming new moon slash solar, e solar eclipse happening in Cancer. Hi Libra, how are you? I'm just shuffling your cards right now. Hoping to get some good messages for you guys. Um, these are general readings. Um, they are not uh, time specific. So anytime that the title catches your fancy and you decide to watch the reading, it's probably a message for you. All right. I've got it. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Okay. Interesting. Okay, let's see. All right, so we have seven of wands, okay? Wands are fire. And down here it says endurance, okay? Yeah, the eternal flame, Libra, that's what I'm hearing. The eternal flame within, okay, that burns within. There is an unextinguishable flame that it exists in the hearts of all of us, Libra, okay? So even after all of these fires get put out, there's always one within, okay, that will never get put out. Ace of Pentacles. So what I'm getting from this, even though it says prosperity down here, what I'm getting from this card is determination. Okay, you need to find your determination. And determination uh, is preceded by setting a goal, okay? And focusing on a desired outcome. All right, those are step one, step two, okay? Set a goal, uh, even if it's... Um, a goal as simple as I want to have my bills put on all of my bills put on auto pay by the end of the month okay then because it takes it's a, surprisingly a lot of work to do that right sometimes you have to like be on the phone with a representative for a while um, it's just it is a lot of work to get all of that done, especially if you have a lot of bills to pay, all right? But, um, I wanna say one, one thing at a time to you, okay? Because I know Libra likes to juggle a lot of activities, okay? And you guys tend to overbook yourselves energy-wise. You guys like to socialize a lot, so. Um, sometimes you need to remember to prioritize self-care as well as, uh, taking care of your, uh, social image, I guess. Um, you guys like to network a lot, so you guys need to make appearances and be readily available to people, um, for whatever reason, you know, it could be for business as well, okay? You guys are a social, you guys are like the party hostesses, you guys are the social uh, event uh, planners, <laughs> in my opinion, but that's just me. That's what I think of Libra, but, because no one can plan an event like a Libra. All right, so we're looking for our, de our determination, okay? And, you know, 
Also, when we don't overburden ourselves, we become more prosperous, Libra, okay? So focus on that end result being prosperity, okay? All right, sorry, I had to go back. Um, so, yeah, sometimes I jump ahead of myself. Go figure why that happens, but... All right, seven of pentacles, so it says potential. Um, seven, you've got two sevens here, okay? Seven and a seven. Seven is a number of the divine, okay? So in order to make a coin, it takes a great deal of fire in order to melt down the metal and put it in the mold, right? Okay? So, you know, and who knows if these are engraved or what, like, it's a process to make a coin. I mean, now, nowadays, there's automated machinery that does that for us, right? A factory. Um... But when it comes to our own personal coins that we make, um, these are the things that we find valuable, okay? These are the, the outlets that we would like to pursue. These are the things that we um, would like to see grow. Our seeds, there you go. Sorry. Man, that was a really roundabout way of saying that. Um, yeah, can we be more direct next time? <laughs> uh, yeah, the seeds that we plant, okay? The seeds that we hope will grow into something. Um, these could be relationships as well, okay? You could be meeting new people and networking with people that you uh, are just meeting for the first time, Libra. So, um... Put on your best, put your best foot forward. Uh, try to uh, raise your image, okay, and your vibration, especially, because that will raise your image completely. It doesn't, to me, it doesn't matter what a person looks like, Libra. If they are, if they have ugly energy because they don't love themselves, uh, it's going to show on the outside regardless of whether or not they can afford to have them, you know, somebody do their makeup every day or, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, you have to be beautiful on the inside and the outside. And it usually comes more from within. So that can even mean making sure that you eat foods that nourish your body, okay? And not just um, foods that would actually detract from your health. Okay, fast food, processed foods, um, those can all, all be sort of detrimental to your health and can actually take away from your inner attractiveness because um, now instead of having the nutrients to maintain, your body has to heal, all right? And, you know, you can eat seeds as well. Seeds are a great source of protein. Um, they're a good source of some fatty acids that your brain needs. Um, flaxseed comes to mind. I, I can't have flaxseed but I'm, because I'm allergic, but there's other th seeds that I eat that I work with me just fine. Sometimes it's just a matter of figuring out what works best for you, Okay. This is a very interesting reading. It doesn't make very much sense to me yet, but I'm trying to see if it'll all tie, come full circle and tie itself together. <laughs> all right. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's sometimes in readings I'll be prevented from knowing or seeing the full picture because of privacy concerns that the quarant may have. And I do my best to respect the privacy of the quarants involved. I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to spill all their tea and air their dirty laundry. I want to be as constructive and helpful as I can be without causing embarrassment per se. Okay. 
uh, yeah, even if I have to chastise, I try to make it as, oh, that's such a Libra trait, isn't it? Okay, 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 got it, noted, okay, so, even if I have to chastise something, somebody for something, okay, I will do it in a way that simply, quite simply states the boundaries that we're trespassed against, okay? It, not in a way that shames somebody for their actions per se, but lets them know that they violated a boundary of mine. And I try to do it in an upbeat way that doesn't feel too heavy into accusing. Um, unless it, it's a severe trespass, then I have to sort of, you know, the chastisement has to reflect the severity of the offense anyway. I'm getting, for some of you, you may need to chastise somebody that you're working with in a way that is, that doesn't take away from their dignity, okay? Because when somebody shows somebody disrespect, it's really a reflection of how they feel about themselves, okay? It's never truly a reflection of that person who is disrespected character, okay? Um, so if somebody disrespects you, it's, it's really about what they, how they feel and how they think about themselves. Um, because people are, you know, people have self-serving biases, okay? They see the world as they live it, okay? They, see the world through their own filter and perspective and some people are inherently negative and some people are inherently positive and some people are more balanced you know but everybody has their bias so maybe you need to make sure that there's no unfair treatment happening okay you guys are the sign of balance and seven even though it's a number of the divine if you can see, it's still, even though it's not an even number, it's still in balance. It kind of creates this uh, symbol of infinity, okay? So, it sounds like there's some sort of um, dynamic that needs to be shifted and balanced out between possibly you and somebody else, okay? Alright, so we have Three of Cups reunion, okay? So what I'm getting from this is there could be a possible reunion on your mind, okay? This could be with an old friend. This could be with a family member. Um, it doesn't... It doesn't really matter exactly what the scenario is, okay? It could even be a family reunion, you know, because during the summertime is usually when a lot of families do their reunions, if you live where it's summer. Um, yeah, there's holidays coming up in the U.S. Uh, Independence Day, the 4th of July, so... Um, you know, a lot of family meets up then. It's kind of a family-oriented holiday. So it could be as simple as that as well. And like I said, this could be a work scenario. This could be maybe you have a work colleague that isn't quite putting as much in the cup, adding to the cup of the business as you are, okay? Okay like putting in as much effort, energy, or time to the business as you are. 
And maybe that is the dynamic that needs to be sorted out. Um, there could also be a balance of power and control when two people come together in a partnership. Um, they need to be equally yoked. Okay, they both have to contribute to the well-being of the partnership. Okay, or the business or whatever it is. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting. It's, it's kind of like a story, now full circle. It's kind of like a story of you coming into the knowledge of your worth. And here comes that train again. Well, I'm going to go. Okay, I love you. Bye.